Alright, maybe there's something up high. Clicked on everything, and I'm pretty sure I talked to everyone, didn't I? I don't know, she's got something new. She reminds me, there's something I need to ask her about. Now that we've pretty much finished investigating Nagito's body, I think it's time to talk to her. Hey, Sonia, do you have a minute? Um... Yes, what is it? Yeah, she, she didn't even say anything. I want to talk to you about when that fake bomb Nagito set in the warehouse exploded. Huh? Oh, thank you very much for that, Fonagard. Seriously, much appreciated. I'll definitely look into that, uh, I guess that's when the message that came in. Got a notifier. I'll definitely check that out later. Thank you so much. And yeah, this is, uh, this is one of the last chapters, I think, so probably best not to spoil much for yourself. Oh, Heather's was an interesting movie. Definitely an interesting movie. Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? It's alright, it's not a bomb. See, that's a good flashback. One line, that's all we need to know. Why did you know the bombs were a fake? Um... Well... That's not all either. When we were looking for the bombs... How were you at the military base? I thought you were supposed to be searching the central island. You mean the, uh, the current plugin that's up, Chaos? Eh, uh, giving it a try, not a big fan. Um, I'm hoping that actually what Phonics sent me, I can get working, uh, instead, because it's a... Probably, quite frankly, the, the best looking chat I've seen. Where were you and what were you doing during that time? Oh my! It cannot be! Do you, sus do you suspect me? It's a misunderstanding. I'm not the killer. Jesus shit, you son of a bitch! Son? I am sorry! I'm terribly sorry. I was panicking. Um... I shall calm down and explain to you why I was at the military base. I wish they'd VO'd that one for her. Jesus shit, son of a bitch! When I first explored the final island, I discovered a vast amount of bombs there. Huh? Well? At first, I was worried that someone might use them for nefarious reasons if I announced it to everyone. Uh, it's not mine to pass along, Chaos. But if I can get it, um, if I can get it functional, I'll, I'll let you know who, um, who sent it to me. I'm, I'm admittedly leeching someone else's custom work with their permission. But it looked way too damn good when I saw it to, to not ask. Playing a Japanese version, she says it in English. Yes! Oh, it is for Night Death Chat? Oh, that might make things a bit easier then. Wait, what are you still doing in here? And I might want to say, by the way, Phonic, it really does look fantastic. I, uh, I saw it in Kiss Case channel earlier. I was like, shit, that's awesome. So I get silent the whole time. Does that mean when you heard Nagito planted bombs, you got suspicious and went to investigate them? That is. And as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. Because you were searching for them, you were late when we all gathered? Please listen! And because of that, I reached a conclusion. The bombs Nagito brought from the military base, or the bombs Nagito brought were from the military base, which means they were fake bombs. How did you find out the bombs in the military base were fake? Um, because I attempted to use one of them. What? I see. I, I thought see. one of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door to the ancient ruin. Um. At the time, I still believed the bombs were real, and I thought I could use one of them to gain entrance to the ancient ruin. Wow. And there's one of me. That plan was an utter failure. The bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. God damn it all to hell! I see. So that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. I like her. As did Monami as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. Which means... If those bombs were the same ones that disappeared, it would mean Nagito took them. God damn it all to hell. Which is why I knew it was a fake. 
I'm gonna save at a different slot. I might want to snag that uh, that audio. Oh, I'll just go all the way down here. Totally new one. Prangly! Long time no see. Who the hell are you again? How you been, man? This is true. He did successfully. Shark Week! Ah. That bomb was real. I cannot stop thinking about it. Upon further reflection, that might have been Naito's plan all along. If so, then Naito's actions were extremely calculated. Ah, you were missing since long before MGS came out, man. <laughs> I'm doing well. I actually platinum a few games myself recently. The problem is his reason for doing it. Um. With this, I have explained everything. Do you have a minute? There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. You're right. I got it. All right. I pretty much finished looking for clues inside the warehouse. I uh, was able to find some clues, but there's still so many things I don't understand yet. Hold it. You look worried. Yeah, I am. Well? At a time like this, it might be good if you broaden your investigation range. You mean it's good to investigate other places as well? You might be right. There's several things I've been wondering about besides the crime scene. The military base that Sonya mentioned, the plushie factory next door, Azumi Castle where the spear originally came from, and Nagito's room, too. I can understand the reason for his actions. I need to know more about him. Um... I'm pretty sure the others have already finished investigating. Can you hear me? Hey, guys. Isn't it about time we leave this place and try exploring other areas, too? I guess we're not setting any guards on the body. Or if you don't really have enough people to set guards anymore. In response to Chiaki, the others gathered around her. I see. I see. I agree. I was just thinking about proceeding to another area. It seems you had the same idea. Huh? Is it safe? There won't be anyone to guard the crime scene. Yep. We don't have a choice, there just aren't enough of us. Besides, we've investigated all we can here. Ah. Uh, I guess you're right. See? Also, it looks like the clues we found aren't enough to piece this incident together. So, we need to search for them in other areas. Probably. Mm. What? No? Um... Okay, no, we're still on. You don't really need to say that. Hey, hey! And it's okay if we leave this place? Yeah. There, we'll have Minimaru guard the crime scene. There's no time for us to stand around. In order to survive, there's no other way except to do it. In order to survive, we need to find Nagito's killer. If we don't sacrifice that person, nobody can survive. That's our reality. That's why there's no time for us to stand around. Well, the nearest place is the plushie factory, so let's go ahead and... Hop on in. We'll take a look. What I'm more interested in checking out is actually in here. And noting the fact that the, uh... Nothing on the floor that looks like Clue, not even trash. I, was, I thought it was interesting that all the fire extinguishers were missing. Uh, I guess we're not gonna get to look at that. Yep. Talking around the three is in the works. What we played of Ultra Despair Girls back in August was really good. I'm uh, looking forward to going back to it a bit later this month to finish up. I think we uh, will probably just pick up where we left off, which means prologue and chapter one already done. Uh, so we'll just roll from there. Apparently the bombs that were stuffed in this truck were actually fireworks. Which reminds me, this truck looks like it came from the military base, and I can tell must have brought it from there. Oh no, there's nothing in particular that catches my eye. No, that's why I can't look at that directly. Enormous machine, but stop for now. So there's nothing related to the incident here. Really? 
Beauty G has mediocre reviews? Well, I can actually kind of understand that in a way. Because the, uh... Okay, I really liked what I played of it, but the fact is, it's very old 3D. You can tell they are absolutely inexperienced making 3D games, because it fucking feels old and clunky. It is, it is nowhere near as smooth as anything remotely modern. But, I still liked a lot of what I played of it, and, uh... There's, it, it had the fucked up brutality that I felt Diamond Rumpa 1 honestly was kind of lacking for me. And that puts a really big smile on my face. That reminds me, I saw Nagito's video message on his laptop. Is he still watching us from somewhere? Maybe he's not, but how do you time his message so perfectly? No, it looks like the video was sent to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. Hey, Chimera! Oh... You're on catch-up duty? Oh, man. You're, uh... The trial is good stuff, and today has been very interesting. At the same time, Nagato should have already been killed, which means that video is recorded in advance. Well, it's a video. That's right. Besides that video, there might be data on this laptop that could be used as a clue. And then in mind, I tried messing around with the laptop, but... That's no use. It's locked. There's no way I can examine this. But if it's locked, then maybe there really is something inside. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I've never seen so many Monokumas in my life. Well, Monokuma isn't exactly someone who would normally run, or you would normally run into. However... However, while I was staring at all these Monokumas, a thought occurred to me. Well? The bomb that went off the lobby might have been set up here. Huh? Do you have a minute? If you hide the bomb inside a Monokuma plushie, it would make a frightening weapon. Do not think the... Uh, do you not think the group that is forcing us to kill each other would devise something like that? Amazing! The plushy bomb is an act of terrorism. Adorable, fuzzy terrorism. All right! Let us rip these apart right away so we can confirm it. Hold on. If there was a bomb inside these, wouldn't it explode if we carelessly messed with it? Easy as pie! Either way, it is all gravy. All gravy? The hell does that mean? Enough already! Stop, there's no bomb. All the action on graphics. It's not necessarily. I mean, the graphics still retain the Psychopop style, but if you look at any of the animations, the animations are really old school. And not in a good way. Hey, um. I don't know if you just pick me up, see? All I feel is a soft weight of cotton. I see, I see. Of course, to be fair, I used to be filled with bombs back in the previous game, but you know. Oh, fine, I'll take that chaos. Maybe everyone gave it a low score because there's more Togo. Dude, no! I hated Togo in Danganronpa 1. Like, I fucking avoided her like the plague. I love her in UDG. She's so much better. Now, granted, I was totally fine whenever Jack was around, but... We never switch back to Toko? Nope, steering clear. However... And where did Nagato obtain the bomb he used? Who knows? Oh man, we hit quote 404 and it's not a 404 error code not found. Damn it. I'm probably just gonna play until the trial. Hmm. I'm gonna give you guys a hint. You should know it isn't from the military base. What? Tell the truth. The bombs there are all fakes. Please wait. I know that already. You should have said so earlier. No. Well, I thought if I kept quiet and foreshadowed that killing was gonna happen. That's why I'm just now telling you for the first time. I feel relieved. If the bomb wasn't from the military base or this factory, then... I brought it from the Octagon. Well done. I must say, you have a good eye there, Sonya. <laughs> Putting a bomb inside one of my plushies seems like a splendid idea. <laughs> that 
that is. They say something I should not have? That's not your fault. Don't worry about it. Yes, Toko and Danganronpa was missing Toko Vision. Or Master Vision. I like Toko Vision personally. Oh god, that reminds me. Steve, do you, do you have a link to uh, Soda Vision? On theory, that's probably. Yeah, so that's probably all we're gonna get here then. Get out of here. Yeah, come on, where's the Soda Vision link? Someone give me the Soda Vision link. Alright, we need to check the, the military base. And naturally, you know the friggin' thumbnail for my UDG playthrough, my past broadcast, was friggin' Toko Vision. Every time I play anything Dongan Rampa related, the worst thumbnail stuff gets picked. Man. Soda Vision? Soda is what Kazuichi Soda sees in his head. Otherwise known as Fifty Shades of Shark Week, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Alora. Damn it, this dangerous place is the reason all this messed up stuff is happening. Hey! Leaving guns out in the open is totally dangerous. Seriously, they gotta take better care of these. Yeah, it's easy to say that, but there's no one on this island who can do that. Huge supply of guns and other firearms are stuffed into the truck bed. Whoa! Found it! What did you find? Huh? Well, the truck bed over there has guns on it, but I also found stuff I like. A survival knife? Wait, that's... Isn't that the same type of knife that was stabbed through Nagito's right hand? Maybe... No, no. Soda Vision is Kazuichi Soda's view. That's how- that's his version of Togo Vision. Means the killer obtained that knife here. All right. So the killer is someone who visited the military base at least once. That's everyone, though. <laughs> no, not me. This is the first time I've been here. That sounds fishy. Hey, you know, when that explosion went off, I kind of thought maybe the tank had actually just hit the room. I would have loved that. I almost expected, since Sonya wasn't present, I almost expected Sonya in a tank. The bombs were fake, this might be fake too. I'm not brave enough to check for myself. Oh, damn it, Hajime. Keep capping and Mubot's just gonna ban you. It was that dreadful helicopter, the one that executed Terra Terra so marvelously. It doesn't have anything to do with the incident. Yeah, Sonya in a tank, can you picture it? Screaming some J-drama line. Either that or she'd need to be doing the drive me closer so I can hit it with my sword bit. Oh, we know she can drive a tank. She actually said she could. Combat training is part of elementary school in her country, apparently. Compulsory. I tried looking through the truck bed. It's empty. Nothing's here. When I first came here, there was something on the truck bed, which means Sonya was telling the truth. However... The bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. Can't believe Nagito died. I... I figured his death was inevitable, but I figured it was going to have to happen near the end of the game. Still love the dude, though, and I'm sad to see him go. I am glad, however, that his death was incredibly violent. Did Nagito know the bombs weren't real? It's possible that he thought they were the real thing. No, never mind. He said as much in his video message. Her country? She's actually royalty in her little country <laughs> called, um... Nova I think it's Nova Selic. So, are you surprised? Seriously, think about it. You really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if they were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. 
Yeah, lived as he died, trolling everyone. He knew the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to weed out the traitor. Now, is that really it? Did Naito only do that to expose the traitor? Maybe there was a different motive behind his actions. All right, back to Nazumi Castle. Wait, no, that's the right one. Expecting to have the Joker room when he died. Well, crazy as he was, I guess that still hurt like son of a bitch. And yep, we're down one. I guess that's why they didn't let me come in here when I was doing that part of the investigation. It's pretty obvious one's missing. Yo! Look at that wall of spears. I guess it's obvious where the weapon came from. Of course, I kind of would have liked to have seen that, because then the dread would have set in. The spear with a flashy ornament on is hanging from the wall. The spear is definitely it, right? Yep. I see. Just as I thought. Looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. The same whip-like cord is attached to the handle, and there's a weight at the end of it. Also! Also, well, it looks like one of the spears in the wall is missing. Hmm. There's no mistaking it. The killer took one of the spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of the near huh? Well, the would definitely help with a lame lane like that. Why did the killer use a spear and a knife? Well, yeah! Yeah, they could have just killed him with a knife, and it would have been easier, too. Not only a spear like this with this, uh, this unnecessary cord thing on it would be easy to use. Yeah, it definitely looks hard to wield. And still, they chose the spear for a reason. What could that reason be? I feel a little tired. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. That's probably why I feel this way. Feeling this strange feeling that I've never felt before. As if Naito is trying to make us suffer, even after he's died. Well, now's not the time to think about stupid things like that. I haven't even investigated his cottage yet. It's too early to start complaining. If we investigate that place, we might be able to find some kind of clue. Alright, let's go. Now, let's hit up the cottage. I think that's the last of the places we uh, needed to look. Yes, Nagi Troll is still a troll even after death. Ah, oh. the magnificence of his trolldom knows no bounds. I guess they're gonna let us in. Hajime. What's this? No oh more. You wanna go inside Nagito's room too? What are you gonna do? I was just listening to Chiyanka's request. She wants me to unlock the door to Nagito's cottage because she really needs it for the class trial. <sighs> she begged me to do it while she was licking my black eye. Um... I didn't do that. Boy, <laughs> tough do crowd. It. It's sweet because it's made out of black bean paste. Hey, we don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and unlock the damn door. Fine, fine. I guess I have no choice. I'm just gonna do that, right? Now then! Ba -ba -ba loose! Havana Snow, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Radio Zero. Uh, island drink from the science mug. Ultimate life won't save you from the night to the dark. Well, that, that kind of depends. If it were truly his ultimate luck at play, it's, uh, I mean, something could have gone wrong with the mechanisms. Apparently, we're not lucky enough. Bye-bye! See, I've opened the door. You can freely investigate now. This isn't my first time seeing that, but why is the door open with a spell like that? Perhaps. Maybe the cottage key is computerized? Hey, hey! Well, importantly, let's go inside now that the door is open. Akuma can make people follow. Yeah, he has the power of mascotism. Yeah, you're right.
No, at this point I would definitely rather not know how his luck works. Not yet. Well, well, well. So he stole from Onami. She wasn't kidding. That is really pink. I wasn't kidding either. I will burn it. So Nagito was living here. Oh. What was he thinking inside this room? What was he feeling as he spent his days in here? I can't even imagine. Wanting to see absolute hope and coming to spare so he could act as a stepping stone for the rest of us. Except for me. No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. A lot more flayed open animals than the word hope scribbled over the walls in their, walls in their blood. Yeah. I don't even know if he truly believed that. It was especially weird these past few days. What changed him? Maybe the clue to that might be hidden here as well. Fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing out. Ah, could this be... Yep. Magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights. Perhaps... A treasure box. Jockey, you know about this? Yep. It's really cute. Oh, she was just reacting. This looks like Monami's stolen treasure box. If this is here, that means... The thief Monami was talking about was Nagito. Why would Nagito steal this? In order to find out... It'd be good to see what's inside. Hold it! Is it gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. It might be, but this could be some kind of clue, you know? If this wasn't important, Nagito wouldn't have stolen it from Monami in the first place. I turned back to where the treasure box and cautiously opened the lid. Inside there was a notebook. This is it? Why is a notebook inside this treasure box like it's something important? I'll pop it open and read it and you might have a clue. Usami General Purpose Notebook. Took the notebook out of the treasure box and began leafing through it. It contained sloppy drawings as if they were drawn by children, and entries that looked like chicken scratch. Day one. I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Onokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two. Yakuya is the leader. A lot of things happen today, so everyone's tired. What is this, a diary? Um. Looks like it. Did Monami write these? You got chased by a Gundam after watching Gundam get punished. Well, how about that? It's a future diary. Ah, I know the one you're referring to. Probably. These pictures and entries totally suit her. I kept flipping through the pages. Day three, day four, day five. Page after page of poorly written entries continued on in the notebook. I don't really understand, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. Right when I was about to give up, my hand suddenly stopped on an entry titled Day 16. Day 16. We've been in the funhouse for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go in the final bedroom today. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. Huh? Hey, hey! Hajime, did something happen? No, it's nothing. Stop it! interesting. We know she can't use the surveillance stuff anymore. She has to rely on her ears. Do you guys remember what happened when I tried to enter the final dead room? Chiaki stopped me. Well, that is a very interesting bit of information. Hmm. Oh. Out of nowhere, Monami suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my hand. I won't forgive you! I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never said you were allowed to peek inside. Jeez, that was close. If I'd come any later, you would have seen the inside of the notebook. <sighs> Unfortunately, you were a little too late. Huh? But this notebook is here. Um... And Nagito was the thief? No! Betrayal. I was betrayed by my beloved student. Hey, hey. Hey, that notebook. It's pretty much your diary, right? Hmm? A diary? Um... It seems that way. That's right. This is my important diary where all my maiden secrets are written. Hey! Hi, hi, you're a liar. Ooh, uh... You always show up out of nowhere. Who are you? Monami, it's not good to lie, you know. 
There's no way you wrote that in the notebook. Yeah! After all, Mommy can't even write. Huh? <laughs> Jeez, I can write letters easily. I can finally write the letter B. That's wrong! No, you can't, because you have no fingers on your hands. <laughs> That's a great point. Bullseye. I know, because I'm the same way too. Wah -wah? Are you mad? Are you angry that I exposed a weakling like you? Yep, and I suspect that I'm correct in that what we what they've been talking about as the traitor is not in fact a traitor at all. Hey, hey! So that's what this is about. You, you're seriously trying to crush me. What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. <laughs> Looks like the time to settle things between us is getting closer every second. Hey, I don't know why you're getting so serious, but is what Monokuma said true? Hmm? You said you didn't write in that notebook. Is that true? If so, who wrote in it? Um... Oh, you know, it's, um... How should I put it? Bye-bye! Excuse me. Hold on. Damn it, she totally ran away again. Yep. Same pattern as usual. It looks like it's a waste of time trying to get answers from her. But still, I really wanted to ask her about that notebook. Well, actually, it might be better that I didn't ask her. Monomy's notebook is manned to the truth bolt section. Yeah. Yeah, like I've been saying for a while. This was all set up by Future Foundation, but I don't think it was set up for the killing game at all. That's purely... Oops, that's purely what Monokuma's doing. Whatever Future Foundation set up was something very different. Creeper Kuma. No. Yes, now I can still burn the box. Investigating is winding down. So the bookshelf might take some time to investigate, so we should try examining some other areas first. Really, uh, you don't want to look at the bookshelf, huh? A lot of books arranged here. Why are you to bring these from the library? In addition to books, there's a bunch of random crap stuffed onto the shelf. Um it'll take a lot of time for us to go thoroughly through that stuff. Hey, hey! Let's just leave it for later. Yeah, I agree. But I don't really agree. It's the bed that comes with the cottages. It's just like the one in my room, but... Hey, hey! Maybe there's something hidden under his bed. It's a usual place for hiding things. Yeah, like porn. Well, I should still check just in case. No expectations without thinking. I peeked under the bed and... Oh, there's something here. Plastic bag from the supermarket. Looks like there's something inside. What is this? Um... Looks like a gas mask and rubber gloves. These look like the real deal. Did he get these from the military base? Gas mask and rubber gloves? He was hiding these under his bed. What did Nagito use this stuff for? Hajime! Is there anything else under the bed? Let's see. He turned to the bed once again and started looking around the area where I found the supermarket bag and... There's a small piece of paper on the floor. Piece of paper made of blue aluminum? Mm. It looks like a um, bottle, bottle top stuff. Etching Mystery Dungeon got a screwy party. Oh, Etching Mystery Dungeon was fun. Round thin piece of aluminum, huh? It's similar to those seals that go over jars of unopened mayonnaise. I get what you're saying, but does that mean this is just a piece of trash? Wait. Who knows? Might be too soon to decide that. So what's he keeping in his fridge? There's a refrigerator. Huh? Nice. My cottage doesn't even have a refrigerator. I wonder where we got it from. Nagato well, probably supplied it himself. Hmm. Why would he go to the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? What was it keeping chilled? 
So talk with Chiaki, I opened the refrigerator out of curiosity. There wasn't really much inside. The only thing inside the refrigerator was a brown bottle. Mm. If someone likes cold drinks, it doesn't look like he stocked very much. But that bottle clearly isn't a drink, right? Really? Looks like some kind of dietary supplement to me. Protein powder, maybe? Take the brown bottle out of the fridge and start reading the label. Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death? Hey, this is... Could it be? Yeah, looks like it's poison. Looks, ah. like... looks like there's a warning label on the back. Let's examine it in a little more detail. Uh, be careful with that bottle. Don't drop it. Stop it. If you worry like that, I'm gonna get nervous. Grab the bottle with my trembling hand and began reading the warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison made specifically for killing someone. It's Monokuma's special poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle it with care. Though its volatility is low, this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. Which explains the fucking gas mask. In a gaseous state, it's heavier than air, breaks down in minutes, and is susceptible to hydrolysis. It's possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. Mm. It sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. This refrigerator must be here to keep the poison secure. Where did Nagito get something like this? Well? That question could apply to the bomb he used in the hotel, too. Apply to the bomb? See? There should be a reason Nagito was able to obtain such dangerous items. The octagon inside the funhouse. It's poison. He must have brought it with him from there too, right? Perhaps. He's probably hiding them somewhere on his body during the last class trial. He's hiding a bomb in poison during the class trial? <sighs> Jeez, how dangerous. What would he have done if he accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Just thinking about it scares me. Hey, hey! Also, he blew up the bomb he took with him at the lobby. What about this poison? Huh? See? Looks like the bottle is less than half empty. Was it like this from the beginning? Or did Nayuto use it? If so, where did he use it? I wonder, is there still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet? Yeah, the Octagon, your one-stop shop for all your murder needs. Well, that and the fucking supermarket, apparently. Another trap? Perhaps. For example, maybe he was making some kind of trap using this poison before he died. If that actually exists, it'd be real bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. Everyone on the island? What the hell? Nagato, are you still trying to make us suffer? Are you still trying to make us suffer even after you died? Not sure why the window might matter, but... I've investigated everything except the bookcase now. The genres and types of items are all so random. I can't make any sense out of them whatsoever. Well? They say a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart. Hey, you would definitely drop the poison. Mm. Do they know? I definitely don't know much about Nagito just by looking at this. So what should we do? It'd be really difficult to look through all these piles. Mm. Doesn't mean we should ignore it, though. Yep. I'll leave it to you then, Hajime. Wait, what? Um... It's better if a boy goes through another boy's things. You know, there might be private stuff here. Well, that might be true, but... See? So, I'll leave the shelf to you. I think I just got persuaded to do this without realizing it. I decided and walk toward the shelf. Yeah, there can only ever be one black, and apparently if someone else attempts a murder, Monokuma will intervene. There can only be one black at a time. One by one, I start removing the various books and items and examining each one. And as I examine them carefully, there's still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there are any clues here. Oh, snap. Well, that file wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is the other one. That seal. Indeed, it's the school badge of Hope's Peak Academy. Does that have information about her stolen memories? Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. 
This file doesn't contain her information, just Hajime's information. I could have said this only contained information about me, but it's not really true. Well, look at this. It should be obvious, right? And he said I was from the reserve department and had no talent whatsoever. That might be another one of his lies, too. I opened the file I held in my hand to confirm that. Instantly, I realized something was strange. That Naito's death note. Your shelf represents your heart and your heart being explained in one sentence. Messy as fuck. <laughs> my shelves are covered in uh, art books, anime, and, well, it used to be models when I had more room. I had to throw out about 14 bookcases when I moved. Or was it 18? I don't know. I threw out a lot of bookcases when I moved. This really has only my information, and why is this file so thick? As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me. Just as I thought, Nagito had lied to me. Aside from my information, there was information about the others. Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko, Akane, and Sonya. And everyone who died had pages of information about them, too. The file contained information on all 16 of us. Only my information, my ass. I can't believe he'd make up such a strange lie. So that means the rest of it might be a lie, too? I turned to the page containing my information and began reading through the content. The profile contained basic information, such as my date of birth, my height and weight, and so forth. There's one thing that specifically caught my eye. The words Reserve Course Student. And there was no denying it. I confirmed that I truly was a Reserve Course Student from the Reserve Department. Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Why, why am I the only one here who's from the Reserve Department? Why? Why am I here with all the other ultimates? Hey, hey! Hajime, did something happen? Ah, uh, well, we just found a strange file. <gasps> Isn't that the special prize Nagito received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your student profile should be in there. It's not just my profile. Profiles of everyone on this island are in here, too. Nagito was lying. Huh? say everyone, do you mean everyone? Yeah, it's just basic information, but there should be profiles for all 16 of us. Can I take a look at that file? Shaki leaned against me and peered into the file. You're right. My profile is really in here. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm... If it's not written in there... These profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. Then, it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Yeah, seems like it. Uh, hold on. Huh? I just noticed it right now, but... The file! His name isn't in there, right? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name is the only one missing, right? Hmm? Who are you talking about? Byakuya. I'm talking about Byakuya Togami. Look carefully. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. <laughs> no way! Some of a name isn't written in that file. Well, it's based on that. You think he might be the traitor? No, it's not just because his name isn't written in here. It's not the only reason. I think he's suspicious. We... He participated in the killing school life at Hope's Peak Academy, right? Someone like him would be in a similar situation on this island. No matter what, it's definitely suspicious. Hmm... Fish cutting grade watchers. <laughs> well, it pains me to say this, but what you're saying about the missing name and about the killing school lies. Too bad! That's totally wrong. There's a completely different reason. A different reason? You're getting all riled up! Yeah, amiibos are popular enough, Deed, that there's been, like, several cases now, I think, of entire truck shipments being hijacked. I refuse to buy any. 
How should I put this? You guys have been getting all worked up about that Yakuya for no reason. Which means the great mystery that you think surrounds that Yakuya doesn't exist. It's odd to me that it's that Byakuya, and not just Byakuya that's highlighted. I'm basing it on one person's cheap speculation. What do you mean? What the heck?! You don't have to ask me that. You know the answer just by looking through these profiles, right? Huh? My eyes turn back to the file. One by one, I start flipping through the pages and confirming the names. And suddenly... I came across a page that was filled with question marks. Every section was filled with question marks. I could barely be considered a student profile. On that page, I was only able to confirm one thing. Ultimate Imposter. Ta -da! That's the Byakuya's true identity. True identity? It was a fake that was pretending to be the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami. A fake? Hey, um... The fact that those profiles filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight. Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding them. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, even his age and gender is unknown. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able to exist as anybody. That's his talent. <laughs> no, I'm not jealous of that at all. That person wasn't really Byakuya Togami? Perhaps. Is that why he was so much fatter compared to when he was involved in the killing school life? So cool! <laughs> his physique doesn't affect his ability to fool others at all. Real imposters are skilled like that. And he was lying to us the whole time? But still... But he couldn't help it. What? Why couldn't he help it? Oh. Because that was his talent. Huh? Having talent means you're also bound to that talent. The moment you obtain talent, your way of life has already been chosen for you. You can't do anything else except rely on that talent. Regardless of whether you want that life or not. <laughs> In that sense, compared to all the ultimates, your life might be a bit more liberating. What the hell? Anyway! <sighs> so I wasn't entirely far off when I said fat body double, huh? I'm not happy that you guys fell for a scam that I had nothing to do with. That's right! So I'll tell you straight up, this revelation about Byakuya is exactly the truth. Then... What was he trying to say to me that time? I gotta talk to the others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn, for a long time my life has been a living hell. <laughs> Based on the context of I had to guess... No, no! Maybe he was just complaining that he was cursed to wander the earth as nothing more than a fawn. <laughs> if you guys had your school memories, you never would have been betrayed in the first place. I mean, it'd be different if you were meeting him for the first time. Shing! Well, since you guys were the Peak Academy, you should have known about the ultimate imposter already. So in the end, it all leads back to memory loss. Phew! Jeez, the Future Foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Monomi or the traitor. I'm starting to wonder... I'm starting to wonder if... we were people on the other... the other side of the rioting, so to speak. And that being sent here and being stripped of our memories is basically, uh a way of returning us to a state before we became involved in all the rioting. Because I don't think we were on the good side of it. Who is it? Who's the traitor? So I'm looking at these 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know who's from the Future Foundation. Is there really someone like that? Of course! Well, obviously you wouldn't know. I made that file so you guys couldn't find out. Could it be? So it's just as I thought. You're the one who did it. Hey! Um... The fact that there are 16 profiles in there is what's wrong. Hmm... Uh... The traitor is a spy sent by the Future Foundation. Not a student from Home Speak Academy. You made a fake profile for the traitor and included it in here? Correct! 
It'd be fun if you figured out who the traitor was so easily, right? Hey, hey! Then you can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was true for Nagito too, right? Hmm. I'm wondering if we were actually all people who were on the side of despair. Strip away our memories to a point before all this began. Uh, we wouldn't necessarily know it anymore. We wouldn't necessarily act like that anymore. Have a good one, Deed. Take care, man. I'm glad the lurk worked out for you. <laughs> it's dripping with despair, isn't it? You wasted your precious time on something that isn't a clue. Are you sure about this? It's not a wise decision. Time's up, you know. Time's up? Wait. Bye-bye! Excuse me for a moment. I have an announcement to make. Oh god, yeah. Wacko Mecom was great. That chime just now. What is most important for living things? Well, personally, I think time is. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, but time will inevitably run out, right? I have suspicions about Hajime, but I'm also wondering, since he was a reserve course student, all the more reason to think he might have been on the other side of despair. That's why we gotta cherish time! There is nothing more wasteful than wasting time. So, time's up! We will begin the last class trial! So please gather at Monokuma Rock! So I have a question. No, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm not going to push through this trial today. <laughs> I'll see you soon! The last class trial? He said that, right? He said last class trial. Yep. I heard it too. He really did say it was the last class trial. What do you think? Should we believe him? Um... Monokuma seemed anxious about the Monokuma timer earlier, right? Two more days? And he said something about the killing school trip ending, right? Based on the time limit, this might definitely be the last one. But still... But I can't imagine that it's the real end. I think Monokuma's real plan might be just beyond that. And Nagito did say that all of this was just the opening act. I'm not going to propose any theories yet. I'm going to actually sit down basically and re-review the evidence, and then I'll form a theory. Monokuma's still planning to make us do something? What could it be? Maybe after putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once. Well? But still, it's also not a great idea to think about it too much, I think. I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us first. You're right. Class trial for Nagato's murder. We're pretty screwed. Someone finally actually did haul off and kill one of the only people who's actually good at progressing through the trials. I haven't collected my thoughts because we were so focused on this file. I still can't see who killed Nagito. But still... Well, you don't have to worry so much. Huh? Right? I mean, we're not fighting this alone, you know? You're right. You're absolutely right. We're not alone. Even if it's a mystery that can't be solved alone, as long as everyone cooperates and works together. Yeah, if we do that, things will turn out fine. 